lithium battery tracing pad backlit. We're going to talk about this thing coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the loft above the shop. This is where we do uh, what I'll call all the crafting, or most of the crafting is done up here. Uh, things that make a lot of dust and dirt and things like that, and the laser engraving and all that are done down in the shop. Up here we try to keep things pretty clean. Uh, what I'm going to be demonstrating here, and this company sent me this to demonstrate, is a lithium battery tracing light pad. See right there? It's a pretty good size. Uh, now we'll find out how old some of you viewers are out there. When I was a kid, yeah, this is back in the 1960s, I had what was called a Gumby and Pokey tracing set. So it, what it basically was, was a, a, a box with a light bulb behind it with a white plastic front and you would lay something on there and then you would uh, some type of graphic, maybe you tear something out of a coloring book or they gave you a lot of Gumby and Pokey uh, graphics that you could trace and you would lay that on there, you would lay a sheet of uh, like copy paper over the top and you would take your pencil and you would trace that or you could, uh, maybe you saw something in a magazine that didn't have too much stuff on the back and you wanted to trace it put that page on there, the light is shining through, you could trace that shape. As far as being an artist, I'm not. I, uh, when it comes to, I have a hard time drawing stick people. What I basically am looking at this for though, is weeding vinyl. Uh, most of the time I try to weed the vinyl after I cut it right on the mat. This is a partial sheet here. I'm going to be doing a little bit up here at the top to demonstrate this. And I usually weed stuff on the mat. But depending on the color of the vinyl, sometimes it's almost impossible to see where those cuts are. Especially when you got old eyeballs like this, and even with the bifocals and trifocals and all that, it could be tough. So with this light pad, if you place your cut vinyl on that with the backing paper still on it, of course, it should shine through well enough that you can see to weed all them little spots. And I'm going to do some uh, kind of fine things on here to see how well this thing performs. Now this is battery operated. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to open it up and find out exactly how this thing works. So well, let's see what we got in here. We have a box that's hard to open. That's when you just tear the cardboard. There we go. Oh, it comes with a stick. We'll have to find out what that's for. USB cable. Looks like we have some things to practice with here. Maybe somebody more talented than me. I don't have a steady enough hand to do that kind of tracing, but we'll see. Very well packed, very well protected. So we'll get this cardboard out of the way and get this thing set up. There's an adjustable easel in the back. You can just pop this guy out and pick your position there. Of course, I've got it upside down. You can uh, pick about what angle you want this to set. Now I've got it upside down. All right, start over. There we go. If you want it tilted way back, you want it up more forward, like so. Or you want to lay it back down. So you got plenty of adjustment there. There's a protective thing here. You got to peel off. Oh, that's really on there, too. Now I turned it on. You can change the color temperature. We'll get into that in a minute. A little clip up here to hold little clip up here to hold your drawing in place or your vinyl or whatever you're working with. Okay, after looking a little closer at this stick that came with the uh, light here, it's actually a pencil. It just doesn't have any eraser. So you could uh, sharpen it on both ends. Now a little tip about a pencil though is the shorter the pencil is and the more eraser that's left means that there's more mistakes left in that pencil. So if you have a pencil that is only used up maybe halfway and the eraser's all gone, there's no mistakes left in there. 
I might have made that up. Okay, getting back to the light panel here. Um, the USB connection is right up here. It's USB-C. The cord they give you is six feet long, so that's kind of nice. Um, I don't know how much of a charge is in this, so I plugged it into my laptop right there to uh, make sure we're good and powered. You turn it on, top little button up here, and you can change the color temperature by touching that button again. This is bright white. It's kind of a warm white. It's kind of a cool white. And then off. And when it's at full brightness, so the next button down changes how bright that is. So by holding that, it will go dim and hopefully bright again. There we go. So now we're at full brightness and I'll be needing that type of thing. So let me uh, get some vinyl cut here and we'll try this out and see how well you can weed with it. I th you can also lay this flat which is what I will probably be doing when I'm trying to do the weeding. Okay, for me, two of the hardest colors for me to weed is white and light gray. And this one here is light gray. Um, I did one here in white, but it was I had just changed the blade. And as you can see there, it kind of tore it up a little bit. So I had to lessen the pressure and do another one. I thought, well, I'll do this one in light gray. So we'll, let me turn this around here so I can see it a little better. And we'll get to weeding this. As I said, I used to, am used to doing this uh, on the mat. I think this here will be nice. I'll get some of these larger pieces out of here first. There's some very fine lines in this. So this will be uh, kind of interesting. You know, that's on the waste part anyway there. I hate it when those just pop up like that. Line going over the top is extremely difficult to do without disturbing that. But as you can see here, there's some pretty fine detail in that when you get around some of those very, very narrow lines. And having this light pad behind there makes this just a whole lot easier. To save this white one here, uh, the after I put that new blade in even normal pressure, it cut all the way through the backing paper, so this one may not weed too well. Well, I actually managed to save it. So what do I think of this light pad? I like it for weeding. It is absolutely fantastic. This, as I said, with this light gray color and the white, even though I had my depth or my pressure set too high, even on normal with a new blade, uh, this is still saleable though. But to be able to weed this, these colors, I always had a really hard time with it uh, because you got basically white on white. Uh, with like black and the dark colors, I don't have any problem at all getting in there and weeding that. Uh, if you, of course, this is just a normal Cricut weeding tool, and it's been sharpened many times because if you have one of these, you know that the points break off. And then I have this uh, ballpoint pen style weeder for really fine stuff, and I really like this. And I have a bunch of replaceable points for it, and it's retractable. And the first time you stick this in your pocket without retracting it, you remember to retract it next time because it pokes you pretty good. So just out of curiosity, I had to get into this package of uh, pictures that they sent that you can trace and it, like I said my hands are not steady enough I have what they call excessive tremors and I was born with it it's not a disease it's not contagious you're not going to get it uh, I've learned to work around it with the things I do by steadying my hands certain ways but 
to do uh, tracing like that, that's just not up my alley. Uh, got the dog, we got some parakeets there. Got a dolphin. Got a mouse eating some cheese there. Kind of cute. Great granddaughter might get a kick out of some of these. That's some funky looking bugs. Well, this would be some good practice for, uh, you know, even a young person wanting to learn how to draw and how to uh, fill in lines and how to do shading. For example, with this dog, there's some pretty good shading on that. And they also give you several pieces of tracing paper to use. And just out of curiosity here, now yeah, we'll. We'll do the puppy dog here. Lay him down on the glass, on the, well, it's not glass. On the light panel. Lay a piece of tracing paper on top. So you can see there how easy it would be to do some tracing if you wanted to. My purpose of this is going to be for weeding vinyl. And I may even use it for some of the other lighter colors too, besides white and gray. Once that vinyl is laid on here, it's very evident where those lines are cut everywhere. And with some of those colors, it's just almost impossible to see it. And you're kind of picking around. And this makes it a whole lot easier. And it's easy to turn your sheet around on here. And you can flip this guy up here, clear out of the way. So that little flap thing's not there. And you can just shift your vinyl around as you saw me doing. So if you'd like to get one of these, there'll be a link in the description. They're available on Amazon. This company did provide this to me to demonstrate. Um, and I'm glad they did because I really like this. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. And we're about to get a big storm because that was just a bunch of thunder. Roger, in the loft above the shop. i got to go close up the hatches. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.